everyone! My name is Amanda and it is that time of the year again because it's time for my 2015 updated bookshelf tour. So since my last bookshelf tour I have acquired quite a few more books and now I own a total of 110 books which is more than double compared to my 52 which I talked about in my last tour. So this video shall not be too long because Let's get started right away. So this is the first shelf and my books are not organized in any specific way. Where I have been able to and when it has looked nice, I have put the author's last name in alphabetical order, but except that there are no genre specifications or anything, I just want my shelf to look pretty, basically. So let's start off with the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas Continued by the Throne of Glass series with Throne of Glass Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire Then we have the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson Consisting of The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages Then we have the Game of Thrones series by George R. R. Martin Consisting of A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows and A Dance with Dragons Then we have the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss, consisting of The Name of the Wind and The Last Man's Fear. We have The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexander Bracken, consisting of The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, and Into the Afterlight. Then we have The Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth, consisting of Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. This is an overview of the second shelf. So first I have Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, the Barnes & Noble Leather Bound Edition, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, Paper Towns by John Green, Half Bad by Sally Green, Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, The Archive by Victoria Schwab, The Unbound by Victoria Schwab, The Complete Illustrated Works of William Shakespeare, Winger by Andrew Smith, Mind Games by Kirsten White, and then I have the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling consisting of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Here is an overview of the third shelf, all my paperbacks. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shibowski, Myla 2.0 by Deborah Dursa, Beautiful Chaos by Carmen Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Beautiful Redemption by Carmen Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Looking for Alaska by John Green, Serafina by Rachel Hartman, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Next I have The Lunar Chronicles by I Have Cinder Lent Out to a Friend, so here is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer and Cress by Marissa Meyer. More Than This by Patrick Ness. Fangirl is also lent out to a friend, but here I have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon. The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. 1984 by George Orwell. Animal Farm by George Orwell. My True Love Gave to Me, a novella collection by a number of different authors. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. And then we have the Mortal Instruments series, the first four books by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels. And last on this shelf, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Here is an overview of the second to last shelf. At Midnight by C.C. Hunter, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, and Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, Hallowed by Cynthia Hand, and Boundless also by Cynthia Hand, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, and Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagua, The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagua, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie 
Perkins. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Alira Sons. It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. This is an overview of The Lost Shelf and this is pretty much where every book that didn't have any other place had to go. Earthman Jack vs. The Ghost Planet by Matthew Kadish The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman Aragon by Christopher Paulini Brisinger by Christopher Paulini and The Eldest by Christopher Paulini World War C by Max Brooks Artemis Fold by Ewing Colfer The 52nd by Dilla If I Stay by Gail Foreman Eon by Alison Goodman The Girl Who Saved the King of Sweden by Jonas Jonasson False Memory by Dan Krokos To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee Beautiful Dead Jonas Book by Eden McGuire Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr Wolf Brother Hunted by the Clans or Book 4 by Michelle Paver just in Case by Meg Rossoff, Antiloper by Esther Roxbury, Macbeth by Shakespeare, Reboot by Amy Tintero, Transparent by Natalie Whipple, Stund and the Natten by Carl Henning Wimark, Tangle Wreck by Jeanette Winterson, and last by not least, the novella collection Novel Gaza by young adults in Gaza. So that was my bookshelf tour, and I very much hope you enjoyed it. These are all the books I own except for Cinder and Fangirl which are lent out to friends but yeah so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up because that would help me out a lot. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you guys in my next video so stay tuned. Bye!